Yes, Dan, Janine ha Hayes from Watkins Mill High School in Gaithersburg played in 24 games this season wearing her Muslim headscarf to all of them, but it was the regional final when she was sidelined. Today, alongside her coach and the Council on American Islamic Relations, she spoke out about what happened when a local referee would not let her play. I didn't want to look down. I didn't want to look at her and explain to her right there in the middle of the game why she couldn't play. Um, so I took it upon myself to wait until the end um, and explain it to her. Um, but it was an emotional moment for us. And like I said, these are my daughters. And for them to go through that type of treatment, I don't want them to experience that. Now this afternoon, a spokesman for the Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association said, unfortunately, the officials made a strict interpretation of the playing rules for basketball instead of the spirit of the rule designed to ensure safety and competitive fairness. There should have been no denial of participation, and we are committed to working with the school and the family to ensure this does not happen again. That referee cited the National Federation of State High School Association's rulebook that says head decorations and headwear are prohibited. And while there are exceptions for religious reasons, he told the coach that had to be documented and provided to the state. The coach didn't tell Janan or any of her players until after the game why she had been benched. I hope that more um, people who uh, incorporate faith in their everyday life, including school, um, that they chat for whatever they want to chat to, sports, um, basketball, soccer. I hope that they come out and, you know, are, uh, come out from the dark and chat for their sport. The Athletic Association and a group representing referees apologized to Janan. In case you were wondering, Watkins Mill High lost the March 3rd game to Oxen Hill, but now a sideline player is front and center as an agent of change. Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL TV 11 News.